In this problem, we are asked to find the average rate of change on f, on the interval a to b, with the following three pieces of information. We've got this big messy looking equation. We know that the mean of f of a and f of b is 625. And we know that the mean of a and b is 25. So first what I want to do is just take these two pieces of information and sort of digest them, see if we can find anything useful out of them. So the mean of f of a and f of b is 625. So if we want to write that without words, what we're going to put is that, just remember the definition of the mean tells us that this is true. f of a plus f of b over 2 is 625. And let's apply the same logic to the second sentence here. The mean of, f of, the mean of a and b is 25. That just tells us that a plus b over 2 is 25. And we'll see that these two facts come in handy a little bit later on. So now let's try and tear this equation apart a little bit. You'll notice that both the numerator and the denominator are the difference of squares. So we can rewrite this equation as the following. f of a plus f of b, and we'll put this guy in parentheses times f of a minus f of b. And then we'll apply the same to the denominator. a plus b over a minus b. And all of this still equals 100. Cool. So, what can we do now to try to solve for the average rate of change of f on a, b? Well, we notice that this and this look suspiciously similar. And this and this look similar. So let's, uh, let's try to plug this into here and see what we get. So we can rewrite this equation, which tells us that f of a plus f of b is equal to 2 times 625. And we'll do the same thing down here, which tells us that a plus b is equal to 2 times 25. So we have this, and we have this. Let's plug it in here and see what we get. 2 times 625 over 2 times 25 times f of a minus f of b over a minus b equals 100. Okay. Right off the bat, we see that these 2's cancel. And then we notice that this is the average rate of change of f on the interval a to b, which is exactly what we're trying to find. So all we need to do is multiply both sides of the equation by 25, divide by 625, and see what we get. So we know that f of a minus f of b over a minus b equals 100 times 25 over 625. And you'll find the final answer is just 4. So there's our answer. The average rate of change on f on the interval a to b is 4.